Hi, I'm Bruce Sawalski. I'm author of Canadian Wilderness Survival and Chief Instructor of the Boreal Wilderness Institute. And today I want to talk about books that can save your life. So if you want to learn real survival skills needed while you're stranded, please like this video and support my YouTube channel by subscribing. So what do you mean books that can save your life? This book can't actually save your life. You're right, but the knowledge of in inside it can. So I want to talk about a number of books today. I'm going to start with this one, which is Northern Bushcraft. So Northern Bushcraft is by Morse Kochansky and it's got a long history. It's been out for a while. That doesn't mean it's not a good book. It just means it's got staying power. And so number one thing about this book is it comes under two titles, both what you see here, Northern Bushcraft and Bushcraft. So the original book, Northern Bushcraft, came out without a full color supplement. Now the reason that it was the publisher was literally just too cheap to include these beautiful color pictures. Sad, but as these books sold like hotcakes because the information in it was so good, the publisher then put back in the color supplement at the back. Over time, for some strange reason, they changed the title to Bushcraft. It makes no sense because he, Morris was teaching Northern Bushcraft, but that's life. And it became straight Bushcraft. That book stayed in publication a number of times, was printed again and again and again. Any of them with the new title, the old title, with the color supplement is the book you want to buy. Lately, I've seen some new ones coming out where the color supplement literally was in black and white. And that's just cheap junk. Avoid that book. If you can't get anything else, buy that. If you can buy one that's Northern Bushcraft or Bushcraft with a full color supplement, then it's absolutely worth it. Second book on that agenda is this one here, which is Basic Travel and Boreal Survival Handbook. This is a later book that Morse produced through Karamat. And it's a really good book. It's available from Karamat or out of um, Amazon. And what it is, is he took a whole bunch of his good material that he produced for junior forest wardens and other organizations, and he simply put it into a book form. So it's not as fancily produced as bushcraft or any, a lot of the more modern survival manuals, but the information in it is life-saving, and you can get a lot out of this book. It is well worth the buy, right? So that's number two. Number three is 98.6 Degrees, The Art of Keeping Your Ass Alive by Cody Lundeen. Now, Cody Lundeen, unlike a lot of the other TV personalities that you're going to see on, te on survival television, is a real survival instructor. He really runs a survival school down in Arizona. He has a large amount of real in-depth knowledge. This book, though, is Modern Wilderness Survival. He's most known for running around without shoes on and teaching primitive um, uh, technology and or bushcraft. But really here he shows himself off as a modern wilderness survival instructor. This book contains life-saving knowledge. It's especially good in any desert or hot climates compared to cold climates because, of course, that's more of his knowledge. But Arizona, it snows. It's got high elevation. He's got that stuff to deal with as well, and he does a really good job of it. I highly recommend getting this book. It is an excellent book. All right, so what's next? How to Survive by John Hudson. This is out as a hardcover. It just came out in a paperback in the UK. That paperback is around. I actually just wrote a review on this on Amazon. I highly recommend John Hudson's How to Survive. If you want to learn the psychology of survival in depth, the real knowledge you need to get yourself through and push yourself through tough and extreme situations, How to Survive by John Hudson is the book. It's an excellent manual. It is well worth. If it's not in your library already, add it now. That's just the way it is. It doesn't matter, paperback or hardcover. This one's a little different. This is called Out on the Land. And although it's Out on the Land, it is by Lars Felt and Ray Mears. And those two in combination have produced one of the best tabletop books I've ever seen on survival. The photography in this book is absolutely second to none. It's beautiful. It's absolutely well done. And because both of them have such an eye for good, high quality images to make sure they convey how to do the skill, this book is tops. Pick it up, buy it, and read right through it. 
I, I bought this just literally after I produced my book and I'm looking at this book going, oh, what a beautiful thing. And I could have taken this idea and this idea and that idea. And only for the second edition. Thank you very much, Ray and Lars. This is a wonderful book out on the land uh, with a great Paul Kirtley cover photo. And it is worth the time and the effort to spend it buying this book. Buy this one. Out on the Land by Ray Mears and Lars Felt. Get it in hardcover. I, I mean, a soft cover might be out. I prefer the hardcover. And just have this on your coffee table. And when you're looking to, look, to be inspired to go out and do something on the land, open this book up. And every time I do, I want to go back to the woods. <laughs> Lastly, I want to talk just a bit about this book. And it's self-serving for me to talk about my own book, but if you want to have a library, Canadian Wilderness Survival adds to that library. It adds to the library because, like 98.6 degrees, um, it is a modern wilderness survival manual. It's a manual well thought out with lots of color pictures. I got 450 color pictures in here, and one of the big differences is, if we're gonna talk about a shelter, I will show you four or six or eight pictures of that shelter as it's being produced. So you actually see the real things you need to build and do this stuff. It's filled with real knowledge you need to survive because that's what I wanna talk about. I wanted to talk about books that can save your life. So. If you like this life-saving survival knowledge that you find on this channel, please support it by liking this channel, sharing this video, following me on Twitter and the Boreal Wilderness Institute on Facebook. So thank you, stay safe, and if you're stranded in the wilderness, just remember, stop and survive.